Yesterday was a day of remembrance across the nation and Europe as well, marking 75 years for, since the Allied forces implemented Operation Neptune, invading the beaches of Normandy and what we all know now as D-Day. Now the few veterans that remain from World War II are well into their 90s, but KRBC's Kelsey Pittman met one man and spoke with the veteran who befriended a fellow soldier who fought on the sands of Normandy Beach. H hour 0600, D Day, 6 June 1944. Absolutely the most important day of the war. William Lynch is from the 12th Armored Division Memorial Museum saying the troops overcoming exhaustion from the multiple day trip. Then once they made it to the beach, steel obstacles, barbed wire, mines, machine guns, and much more. Without gaining a foothold in Europe, we would never have liberated France, Belgium, Holland, and Across the Rhine River into Germany. Now, 75 years later, we still honor those 160,000 troops. One veteran, James Weber, becoming friends with a D Day survivor. We greeted each other in the morning with a salute. Wallace and James swapping stories from their time serving. He had driven a truck onto the battlefield and didn't know what was in it. And after it was kind of passed, he looked in the back of his truck and it was filled full of ammunition. Not thinking twice. He remembers just doing what he was told to do and didn't realize that he was 19 years old and that people were getting killed all around him. and. He didn't think about that till later. In Abilene, Kelsey Pittman, KRBC, Abilene's local news. Thank you, Kelsey. The 12th Armored Division Memorial has a D-Day memorial on display for the entire month of June. Certainly a day of uh, somber mm -hmm. remembrance. And what an incredible story, too. So many incredible stories, and they're disappearing so quickly as those veterans move on. Yeah.